Yo, what up guys, Hollywood here, Hollywood's Kicks. I uh, just wanted to upload a video real quick on a pickup I did today, Sneaker Saturday pickup. I actually uh, was headed to the, what we call, uh, there's an outlet mall out here in LA called the Citadel. I was out there today actually picking up a suit and decided to stop by the Nike outlet just to kind of see what was going on. Didn't know, you know, if they were going to have anything. It's kind of hit or miss anytime you go in the outlet. So uh, I was looking at the hash wall and I see one pair of shoes kind of sticking out, kind of winking at me saying, come get me, come get me. Uh, and this shoe I've wanted uh, since it came out, but I never got around to, to copping and just kind of put it in the back of my mind, didn't really think about it much. I think I'm watching it on eBay, I got like three eBay's uh, listings that I'm watching, but I uh, never pulled the trigger. So, it seemed like the sneaker gods, the Nike gods were sending me a sign saying, if you're going to get them, get them now. Uh, you know how they come on the hash wall, top of the box is ripped off, which I don't understand why they do that. It just totally ruined, like now I have to get like a replacement box or like one of those containers or something to put my shoes in. They can't, they couldn't just give me the, uh, the whole box. Like what's up with that? So Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG Laser, white, metallic, silver. Box price on these was 185. Uh, they had marked it down to 149 and then they had an extra 30% off on this particular item. So it came out to 100 bucks. 100 bucks for Air Jordan 1 that I wanted and it was in my size. So had to cop. Let's see if I can get this close to up there. Uh, so you can see the tag a little bit. Not sure if that's even working for you, but. Uh, who cares, right? I'm gonna have to toss the box anyways. Let's get into the shoe. Here we are. We've all seen this shoe by now. I just kind of wanted to upload it, give you guys a little story about my local outlet today. Um, I see outsole, kind of a blue tint. Let's see how that holds up over time. White midsole and an entirely white leather upper with that laser etching all throughout. Um, every single pair of these is different from what I understand. Uh, so each pair kind of, it's kind of random on what designs you get on your pair. I know a lot of people were making a big deal if you had gotten uh, Jordan's face on your pair. I saw a pair of fours that had his face etched on there. I did not get lucky with that. Not that I care. I don't even know what the big deal is, but there's an Air Jordan 4 right there. Uh, the leather on these is, you know, this is part of the remastered series, so I'm not going to say that the quality is that much better than the ones that we got last year in 2014, but the leather that they chose to use on this particular shoe is just incredibly soft. And I don't know if that's part of remastered or if they just went with a really soft leather. Um, I've read online that people have talked about creasing, that these are gonna crease really easily. I don't know, I don't care. They're 100 bucks, it's a white Air Jordan 1. I think it looks sick. Um, the Nike check is 3M. Nylon tongue, the Nike Air hit there, which is key. Uh, the white laces, uh, you can't go wrong can't go wrong. I think they're sick and I was gonna cop them anyways. I was gonna pay like I think 150 on eBay which is crazy. These are a sleeper. These are an absolute sleeper. Like how are these a box price of 185 and they sat and now you can get them below box on eBay and I think they're really clean. I don't know why people didn't feel these. I don't know if they're waiting for the fours or the is it the 20s. I'm not sure. I like the ones, and um, I like these shoes a lot, so I copped them. Um, let me know. Do you guys pick these up? Should I have picked them up? Should I have passed? 100 bucks. 
the Nike outlet here in Los Angeles. There goes an Air Jordan 10 on there. What about the icy outsole? Do you think this should have went solid white? Or maybe like a gray, a light gray? Because I'm kind of scared that over time these are gonna be like a real nice color yellow. Even though you can't really see it much, um, because it's such a, just a small little portion of it shows, but still. Uh, let's see, you guys wanna see the insole? It's got the 30th anniversary uh, kind of logo in there, size 12. Like I said, um, a lot of crazy intricate designs on these. I think they're dope. And uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Got a lot more videos coming up, guys. Just want to get this one done real quick here for you on the Sneaker Saturday. Let me know if you guys picked up those 11 Lab 4s that came out today, the all patent leather black 4s dropped today. Um, not really sure what the temperature is on those, if people were feeling those or not. I think a 7 dropped also, called Barcelona 7s or something. Not Barcelona, no, I'm lying. I forgot what they're called, but they're kind of like gray and gray based 7, which I passed on. But anyways guys, till next time, Hollywood, Hollywood's kicks. Just keep uh, subscribing, like this video, thumbs up it, comment, subscribe. I wanna see if we can get to 200 subscribers. We're at 150 right now and um, I don't know, let's just keep it going, right? Why not? Peace out, y'all.